Y'all want to hear something funny? We know Surviving R. Kelly just released yet another project before R. Kelly's appeal and sentencing. The thing I find funny is all the cast is on the internet acting a damn fool as usual. Know what I'm going to do? Collect them receipts and come back and show you why some of you should have asked a little more questions instead of continuously giving these janky-ass people the platform to defame the character of Robert Sylvester Kelly. But don't be surprised when you see the appeal after you've seen all these grand productions of bullshit. <laughs> what? Hey, CP, did you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, leave off for Kelly. Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the Well, I don't know either. But she had, she called Tamara after I told her. I said, listen, the truth gonna come out, goddammit. You keep on fucking with my daughter, the truth is gonna come out. You need to fucking leave her alone. She oh, wait a minute. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. So Tamara knows already? Yeah. She know the truth, truth? Hell yeah. I told her. So then I don't understand how they know all of the truth about these people, but they still allowing them to be a part of it. Well, you know why? They have spent over three, four, five million dollars, and it's too late to edit that shit and take them out. That's some crazy shit. Now I can see y'all and y'all daughters, but if you know that, you know, these other girls are being dishonest, my thing is, what makes you think that it's not gonna come out later and then you're gonna look like a damn fool? Exactly. Exactly. Hello everyone. I'm uh, coming on this live today to talk about some issues that is going on in my uh, family. I'm trying to wait to get clarity on some stuff to make sure that this is 100% accurate. So I, I come on here today to clear up some things that has been put in the media, specifically about Jocelyn Savage. So, I want to talk about it. And rest assured, what I'm telling you is 100% accurate. My daughter, Jocelyn, is not pregnant. This is 100% accurate. My daughter also, whoever did the Patreon account, is over this. So rest assured, I'm investigating this to the fullest, and other people are too. That little girl, the little baby that is on that uh, account is a pretty little baby. No doubt about that. If my daughter had a grand, if I had a granddaughter, I would be the first to say I love this child, no matter what the situation is, period. But rest assured, that's not my granddaughter. And rest assured, Jocelyn is not pregnant. These people are 
are evil, cruel people to take a horrible situation and try to make some type of profit off of it by going in the media saying that my daughter's pregnant. Knowing her stability, nobody knows. My daughter's been hidden away from everyone due to the circumstances, and it's not right. If it was the case that my daughter had a child, they would come forth, my daughter would come forth and be happy about it. But as we both know, that my daughter has not come forth and my daughter has not responded in a fashion to say that this is her child. I have messaged that, that channel also in the past to see if that was my daughter, to congratulate that channel has not responded in the proper way of what I will be looking for as a grandfather of this child. Rest assured that I have been in contact with other people to try to develop a situation to try to find out who's behind the Patreon account, behind these books that are being put out saying my daughter has written, also behind the saying that she was pregnant with um, Robert Sylvester's uh, child. None of this is true. These people are scammers, and they deserve to be put behind bars where they belong. I don't know who it may be, but we are going to find out. And I promise you, if my daughter would call and let me know, I would help her tremendously to try to get these people arrested. A hundred percent. My intent is to help my daughter in any which way I can. My concerns is to make sure she's okay and healthy and fine. At this point in time, I don't even know if my daughter's alive or not. Due to the circumstances of what she's going through, somebody's trying to throw this family off and trying to deceive us and thinking that my daughter is fine and okay, which I don't think it is true. I need to show some type of form of proof of life that my daughter's still living because I don't think that she's living at this point in time. Due to all the things that someone has put out in the media to try to prove some type of point, I truly and honestly believe that my daughter is being harmed in some form or fashion. Whether Rob is in jail, whether these actual predator people that who are trying to cover up, my thing is not to blame someone else that is in jail at this point, but someone that is actually trying to cover up a situation about my daughter. I am want to investigate this more, and I, I encourage the federal authorities in Chicago to investigate this, and I also ask the authorities of the FBI to investigate this and see if my daughter is still living and see if she is okay. My concerns are my daughter, not Robert Sylvester Kelly. My concern is to make sure that she's fine and healthy. My whole family is concerned of her, and we want to make sure that she's okay. Please, report these two pages to have these pages taken down immediately. We are going to do everything in our power to make sure Jocelyn is fine. That's all we want. So we want to make sure that this goes accordingly. Thank you for your attention and time. Please, report these two pages to make sure that they get taken down and we find the truth behind what's going on with Jocelyn Savage. Thank you. Me and my wife going through divorce right now. 
fail to realize about me is I don't como se dice give a fuck <laughs> the only thing I have left is my voice and now I have to use it for my protection because they left me no choice see my work has nothing to do with my private life so stay the fuck out of my business and tend to your own damn life So go ahead, say what you wanna say About who I wanna date But you won't say that shit to my face Cause you know it ain't shit to say Next nigga bring me some dumb shit It's gonna be a misunderstanding Cause niggas that listen to dumb shit Are niggas that be on that dumb shit They need a light cause they ain't got no light So they always caught you in a dumb shit Blocking my path, they don't know the half It's all, they make an assumption Since when do assumptions Call for man his whole career Found guilty when you're innocent Is the only test I fear There is one thing that's for sure And I wanna make this shit clear I'ma live my voice and represent in my country For 31 fucking years Damn it, I admit I admit, I admit, I admit
my people come together. Right, so do what you wanna do, cause you gon' have a good time when you in front of Snoop. And because I know Minister Ferguson, you know he definitely spoke. I think he had a private meeting with him. Nobody really know what the depths of the meeting went, but I know he did have a meeting with him. But these other ones that was a part of uh, Lifetime and, and all this shit, I, we need them. We need them to step up and them to, to, to act like they, they plan a platform. All we do is plan on each other as black people. That's it. For fame and fortune. Lord, please forgive me how I'm living. I was born to drive a whip with no ceiling. I'm allergic to being broke.